Hi. So this is my first video blog and uh, I thought I would talk about something that I experienced very recently and left me, you know, with a major insight. So I was in Cairo just a couple of weeks ago delivering a couple of lectures on innovation and while there of course I was experiencing post-revolution Cairo and whether it was at the sessions that I you know the lectures that I delivered at the University of Cairo or the Innovation Council or visiting the old bazaar in uh, Khani Khalili in old Cairo or talking to the camel owners or tourist guides at the pyramids at Saqqara or just talking to friends and people I met while visiting different areas in Cairo there's one thing that really struck me it was this incredible feeling of victory of euphoria that was everywhere around me and it was as if everything and everyone was feeling so blissful, so victorious that because of their contribution, a completely new adventure had begun in this ancient civilization. And as I experienced that and was watching a performance by the whirling dervishes, I had an epiphany. Suddenly it seemed to me that in emerging markets for innovators and for designers, there was an opportunity to contribute at a really large scale. When I say large scale, I mean not just, you know, sort of coming up with ideas for products, which is important enough, but it was to contribute to creating completely new ecosystems in these cultures. Why? Because all these emerging market cultures are experiencing so much change in different directions, but a lot of change. They're in a state of flux. There's a lot of culture strain. There are, you know, sort of decades of unequal development and distribution of wealth that's now colliding with the rapid rate of growth of the economies in these countries with very modern technology that has penetrated very very rapidly in the population such as mobile phones internet etc so with a blend of different things that are juxtaposed against one another there arises an incredible opportunity to innovate and what i found in cairo was that everybody was looking for new completely innovative ways in which they could redesign everything from the political system to mobile phones to everything in between. Redesign, come up with new ideas to fit the local ecosystem. So you can imagine that as an emerging market designer and uh, innovator, it made me feel that all our skills could be put to such good use because of this this is this is innovation paradise right now in the emerging markets and innovation for greater causes not just what we are used to doing everyone at least as i saw in cairo and as i see in india as i've seen in china everybody is looking for new patterns new patterns that fit that ecosystem that arise from that ecosystem and looking to move away from using old patterns borrowed from other ecosystems. So there I was thinking about all this and as I entered a bookshop what did I find but this book called Tweets from Tahrir. It sort of you know to me is the epitomization of that epiphany that is you could suddenly find a completely different purpose for a product or a service that was invented in a different ecosystem if the people in a certain local ecosystem wish to innovate. So here we have Twitter and suddenly it has been put to a completely different use. Nothing that it was intended to do was what it did 
in this revolution in Egypt. So, as I, you know, was looking at the tweets, so many people talking about how it's all because of being able to connect with each other via Facebook and Twitter that the momentum really happened. I'm going to end by paraphrasing Shakespeare. Our solutions oft in our own ecosystems do lie. Even if we often ascribe the solutions to ecosystems elsewhere, outside of our context, but the solutions often lie right where we are. So I think this now, here and now, is the most exciting time to go out and look for those solutions. There never will be a better opportunity for mega solutions than right now. That's it from me for this time. Thank you.